and today with a two-in-one scanner and webcam and as a scanner is not a conventional scanner as we can see by its format but it has a lot of advantages like if we look at the screen I can show you live and if I want to take a quick scan just right over here and we can increase the resolution as I will show but just a quick scan bam there we go I've got my almost full page I will show you how we can take the full page in just a few moments in the software and we will do some tests right over here so that you can decide if the Caesar Fan CS Pro is the device for you or not. Now I'm using Mac OS but it can be used also on Windows and if you are using Windows and you still haven't activated don't forget to check out Keys Fan where you can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get a bit cheaper. So just in case the link will be down below just next to the Caesar Fan CS. Pro. Now let's start by taking a look at the unboxing which is really simple. It comes the package with the Caesar Fan CS Pro and it comes with the USB type A to USB type C adapter. Basically that is it. One of the things that I love are the adjustments. I can just let's put it to its original state. I can put it like this so it will occupy almost no space at all and then we can put it like this if we are scanning small um, things like this, brochures and whatnot. But if I need more space on the desk, then I can put it up. And if I want to use it as a webcam, I can just do like this and bam, webcam. Now, one of the things that I can share with you right now is that if you look at my screen, you'll see that I'm upside down, which is something cool. Now, if I press this button right over here, I'm not upside down anymore. But when we put it down and there we go. We will see that the text is not exactly what I want to show to my audience. So I just press the button once again and there we go. We have the text as we want to show. Now in terms of this scanner before we go to the software, it has a few buttons here on the top. Exposure, compensation, less and more, focusing and we also have the rotation that I just did right now and there's a LED. Now the LED I will put it to that side and if I press the button right over here here it will give me LED level 1, level 2 and level 3. So if we need a little bit more illumination this will just be great. One of the other things that it has is this rotation mode right over here. So if I want to see the old page for example, one of the options that I've got is just to rotate right over here instead of rotating the page and in this particular case I can keep on sliding pages which we will do automatically which is really cool or we can put it like this. So basically this is it in terms of the functions on the hardware itself. Now let's take a closer look at the software and you are seeing my desktop right over here. We have three different situations. Now if I take a picture here, what happens is that it's first of all really fast and if we preview it, we will see that the picture contains the wood, which is something that probably I don't want when I'm scanning a document. So if I go to the scan and we will see the different things that we can do. Let me just select color and if I press scan, Boom, really quick as well. But one of the differences is that I don't have the wood borders right over here. I just have the documents. And right now, if I want, I can just select and grab some text and I can copy on Word or Excel or whatever I want to do. So this is just awesome. But before we do a few more things, let's go to the display. Now, this might be useful if we are doing a kind of tutorial that we need to show probably not just the paper, but if I want to show a remote control, for example, I can say that this button is for this and that and that, and I can show you that it takes double, triple AA batteries right over here, two of them in this particular case. So we can do a lot in this mode. And at this moment, we are recording at 10, 80, 60 frames per second, 25 frames per second, sorry, but it will go up to 10, 80 at 60 frames per second. Talking about that, let's take a look at the video quality while using a webcam. And now in webcam mode with the Caesar Fancy S Pro, we are recording at 1080 60 frames per second. But just have in mind that when you are watching this video, it will be 4K at 25, so that means that there will be an upscale. Just have that in mind. Now, I do love the ability to have a scanner, which is really cool, as you have seen in some images. But besides that, I can just flip the camera and have a webcam, which, in my opinion, has better quality than on the laptop that I have 
and it also records at 4K 15 frames per second, which I believe that it's not enough. So for video calls and remote work, I do believe that it's more than enough, but let me know down below in the comment section, what do you feel about it? And we can change resolution just by going right over here and resolution wise we can go up to 4k which we will do in just a few moments but before we do i'm going to keep 1080 just because we have higher frame rates now one of the things that i might want to do is if i want to do some writing and let me put this almost to default uh, which is like this and let's put less transparency so i can just right and do this and i can talk to my audience talking about audience let's activate the webcam right over here so i'm using at this moment the caesar fancy s pro and as a webcam i'm just using the webcam from my computer and like this i can record the screen to my audience and do a complete video tutorial just using the software from caesar visualizer which is great so if i'm talking to my uh, audience i can just do this and i can change to this uh, sorry i didn't change the color did move around this is one of the things that we can do is let's grab this and i can grab around the things that i did draw so if i do any mistake i can do that and I've, and of course we can if i want delete everything that i did so we can do a lot we can draw figures and whatnot change colors opacity type of the line that we want which is great for video tutorials let's just delete this and besides the picture in picture mode like this we have another mode which is this one and if i had another webcam for example or another scissor i could do a different angle right over here i could just select the camera uh, i only have two cameras at this moment so we could do i don't know any other angle that we want so really cool now also we can do something like this let's deactivate that one and we can deactivate this one as well this is a mask tool so i can if i want move around and if i want to hide this text i can and then i can just take a picture for example and bam and we can do the same on the scan mode which is great and we can do inverted as well so i can select what i want to show and i just need to grab it right over here so let's say that i want to show this and i want to show this and now if i take a picture we will see that we have some transparency applied right over here which we will not be able to see what it has but we can see the text that it's highlighted so it is useful in some use cases and the option is right over here and then we can record for example if i wanted to use a picture in picture mode as we had previously i can just press right over here and it will record the file to wherever i want with the video of the display and with the webcam and the same with a picture so if i take a picture and if we take a look we will see that that is the picture and that is my desk so i just don't need to use any other software if i don't want to and basically these are the options here on the display now if we go to the uh, options here on the camera we have the resolution and let's change the resolution to 4k and you will see the difference and why i wanted to use 1080 so if i move around now what happens is that it's 4k at 15 frames per second which is the maximum so it's great for image quality to take pictures and so on and so forth but if you want to use it as a webcam i would use it 1080 at 60 frames per second or 25 frames per second like i do for static objects great but for moving 15 frames per second is not that uh, much so you will see this um, motion blur which is exaggerated the maximum that we should or the minimum that we should go is 24 or 25 so 15 is a bit less then we have a lot of options right over here some of them we also have here on the dials as we have seen so you can just um, take a look we can include watermarks and whatnot but let's go to the scan options and the scan option was at 1080 so let's change to 4k because on the scan option i do believe that the 4k is the best option possible now let's take a look at something really interesting before we look at some others let's delete all these files and i'm going to put this on auto i'm going to move it slightly it's going to know that i did change the page and it's going to automatically take scans of the pages that i put right over here just needs to sense the movement and there we go so i just have two pages but if we have more we just need to put it them in be quick 
about it and boom there we go this is one of the functions that i really enjoy and i'm taking on auto but i do prefer to take it on color so if we take a look at one of these for example there we go we have the picture right over here there are some settings that we can improve the image quality and color seems to be a little bit better so if i press right over here and if we preview it now it looks a lot better than the one that was on auto of course we also have grayscale black and white and so on and so forth let's put in here something which is a picture from t smart just a card and if we press like this there we go and if we take a look there we go we have a high resolution of this um, picture right over here as picture quality we also have another option if we go to the qr code we can see that we can check right over here the qr code it did copy it to my clipboard so if i go to my one of my browsers and i already copied it to right over here but i can paste it again paste and bam so this was the address that was on the uh, qr code from tsmart which is this card right over here it also has the barcodes which i don't have any at this moment we can also do some manual um, scan so if i want to do something smaller i can actually let's do it like this i can just grab here and let's say i want to grab this piece of text only press it and there we go we have it right over here so if i open right now i can just scan it to text then i can copy whatever text i want and then put it on i don't know on word excel whatever we want so there's there's a lot of functionality right over here it also has these options that i can press it and it will give me two different areas that we can then select and uh, resize and copy whatever we want so if i want to copy this part and this let's do something more interesting i'm going to do it manually so let's say that i want this and i want this and i want this so uh, no okay two it's the maximum i was stretching out two so if i do the third it will delete so one and two let's say that i want a text and this image if i press it bam there we go we have the text and we have the image that we just took from there it would be really cool if i could do three or four but i guess the maximum is the two and i only realized that right now because i was not doing that on the previous video that i was recording in portuguese but basically it's useful because we can rearrange and take two and then okay i just need one more and take the third one or something like that and basically this is it now we are working with pages because it's the only thing that i had in english but we can put in a book this is in portuguese of course and uh, if i want to show anything then i can do so probably i would do that on the display and not on the scan and like now we are at 1080 25 frames per second so the image is different the movement so we can show anything live if i'm doing tutorials or if i'm doing some kind of teaching and we want to share to the classroom a book and whatnot then we can do like this or with the document scan now it is a two-in-one with a lot of useful functions hopefully i could share to that side of the screen how useful it is and hopefully it will help you to decide if this is the scanner webcam that you need for your setup if the video was helpful don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one